You have a pickup? Yes. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yep. For that one minute that I'm delivering that package, I'm the most important person in that moment. I have to actually think that this is important. If I don't, then I'm not like enjoying the service that I'm providing. It's a satisfaction. I'm not thinking like, oh, okay, this next guy could do that. Nah, you know, I could do that. What's up, good to see you. Cargo, cargo day? Yeah. My name is Kirk Boone. I'm 59 years old. Been a um, foot courier in New York City um, over 20 years. Kurt has always been uh, interested in the culture of bike messages. Even though he's a walker, he was this person who's like always coming out to events and supporting, having a good time being part of things. That's cool. When there's downtime, bike couriers and foot couriers, we socialize. Talk about the job a little, you know, the job. First of all, you see. I was in corporate America. I had a dream to be like this corporate executive at a Fortune 500 company. But that didn't occur because of events in society around me. And the only thing that kind of stuck with me was this courier work for some strange reason. I just selected two jobs. So I have um, one job picking up at uh, 55 Mercer Street. The company's called Zimmerman Soho, and it's coming back down here to World Trade Center. That's going to Vogue magazine. And then the other job picking up for Hernity Brand, that's going to 45 Wall Street. I should be able to knock both of them out within an hour. They have the addresses, uh, 305 Broadway, and I, I don't think that's right. Oh, um, it, it, it might be, um, are you calling UPS? The client informed me that the address in the uh, manifest was wrong. So now it affects my time schedule as far as my other deliveries. I had to go to a new address. It took close to another additional hour to do it. I had to backtrack, so the job paid me $19.38 for two hours of work. So that's roughly $9 and change, less than minimum wage. It's a tough way to make a living. In the position I'm in, I'm an independent contractor. I don't have health benefits. I don't get paid vacations. I pay my own expenses. My meal plan isn't, say, the best. I don't have a wife. I don't have my own kids. I didn't choose it per se, but not in the sense that I'm gonna blame somebody, you know? Cause I'm African American. So many of my friends got hurt, got killed. Some ended in jail. But if I said, oh, if I'm gonna blame society, that's just like kicking myself in the mouth. Life is tough and living in the city can be tough. You can forget about the magic. And Kurt's one of those people who helps us remember the magic on a regular basis. Alley cats, cycle fast, cycle slow. The race is on, down city streets. Who is the fastest messenger in New York City? Fixed gear wannabes or fixed gear masters? I'm like all in to the bike messenger culture scene. The biggest part of these bike messenger races is socializing with fellow messengers in the community. It didn't matter what kind of messenger you were. It was still like a community. Kurt's smile is infectious. He'll come to someone's event, he'll take pictures of people, and then he'll post them up, and it makes people feel good about themselves. You know, it makes them feel happy that they're part of something. You know, and what we do is special out here. Those books, my father's been showing me those since like age six. I'm from Jersey. That's a trip. And all my life, I was like, yo, these dudes are superheroes. I need to get out and do this. Nice. I always viewed messengers as like superheroes and and the bags were the capes. Like, I just always thought it was the coolest thing ever. Now, couriers have a certain amount of respect and cachet. Okay, I'm making low wages, but at the end of my career, I hope that I can create my personal brand. I've been in the media. You know, I've been in the New York Times, been on the cover of the International Courier Magazine. So I think, you know, I've gotten recognition for being this courier. You know, it's just that it doesn't pay a whole lot of money. And uh, it's, a, it's a tough job. I just got to tell them to make it three envelopes. Because, like, what it is, it'll say two. And then if I deliver three, 
You want to ask what was? Yeah. Okay, so I'll tell them to change it to three. Okay. Good? All thank right, you. thank you, man. Thank you so much. I just picked up from 47 East Houston Street, and the drop off is at 131 Very. So the way I'm routing this delivery, since there's no direct route on the subway, is I walk it. And this walk is about one mile, but I usually do it pretty quick. I have a delivery, I'm in, I'm in the lobby. Uh, can you please bring it up to the 10th floor? We're in suite 1034. I've been working for the super rich. I've been making deliveries on Park Avenue, Fifth Avenue. You know, hotels could start, you know, $400, $500 a day. A dinner could cost easily $200. And I, I go buy these places all the time. And I say, all right, you know, what would it be like to have a condominium on Park Avenue versus me living in a small apartment in Newark? It's the same thing to me. It's just money, you know? So, you know, I'm enjoying my life as much as that guy that's just living well. You know, what you, what you would call living well. I'm not going to let this system stop me from doing what I want to do. Next week, I'm being flown out to Japan. They're hosting a party for my photographs. Having fun in Tokyo. This is the uh, messenger bag expedition right over there. It's getting ready to start. So it's quite far from the humble beginnings of how I got into this bike scene. Right there, one garment bag. It has his name, right? Thank you. I just finished my last delivery. I'm tired. I just did like a roughly 11 miles on foot. Did eight jobs for roughly $130, um, which is around $16, $17 an hour. Messenger aesthetics, urban chaos. As I see what I do every day, this is what it is. Down on Wall Street and on Fifth Avenue and on Sixth Avenue, on the east side and on the west side, pushing packages down city streets. Urban chaos, messenger aesthetics. And street culture has really made me want to kind of stay a courier. I look at it as, okay, this has got to end at some point, right? I can't walk seven miles every day for the rest of my life but I could tell stories about that. What's your end goal? Like, are you guys gonna keep taking pictures of messengers and culture? My end goal is to put these photos up in one of these skyscrapers, so when you go in the lobby, see these big photos of all these messengers. It's like, obviously they send us to the back, but in my dream, we're not in the back, we're in the front. It's exciting and dangerous. Think that you can hang with us? We don't give a fuck, cause we're New York City messengers. Messenger, messenger, messenger.